What's going on? What's going on? Part two. We're talking about transgender, umbrella, transgendered women, transgender men, intersex men, transgender people. Transgender is an umbrella term. You got non-binary, you got gender fluid, you got shit. People are doing them and expressing them and in their individuality as their freedom. Life. Liberty. And the pursuit of happiness. So, you got the different, you know, political officials, two people. Well, there's three people, technically. There's multiple people, really, because there's three people that are openly, outwardly telling you. And mind you, people don't have to tell you. I used to be like, no, you're a liar, and that's wrong, and that's mean. And don't get me wrong, there are... A lot of times where I feel like it's wrong and it's mean and you should be, I, I feel like people should be upfront about who they are and what they stand for. You know what I'm saying? And at the same time, I recognize I can't dictate what somebody else is doing. I can only control what I'm doing and I can only control my ass half the time any damn way. So I can't even imagine trying to control somebody else. That's your life. That's your freedom. That's you. I'm not here to intervene, interject. Well, I will try to interject. I ain't even going to lie. I'll try to spread. I'll try to share my perspective, but I'm not going to push anything on you. I'm just going to ask that you consider it. Take it into consideration. That's it. <laughs> Hear me out. Here an intersex, transgendered, black, American, black, African, American, black. trans queer gay man hear me out hear me out for it you know what i'm saying i'm not saying that you gotta do what i'm doing uh believe in what i believe in but hear me out hear me out so now this is my opinion and my perspective right like i said i got an asshole and a, an opinion too and this time, this asshole is going to tweet a tweet a tweet, 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 tweet. You're going to hear this asshole blow, baby, because my opinion is coming through, baby. My perspective is coming through, baby. And I'm also sharing my lived experiences. And again, I know you're not going to all agree with me. That is cool. I get it. Obviously, I don't agree with all y'all. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? We share in our perspectives. My, you feel me? You can choose to listen or choose not to. You know what I'm saying? That's where we at. So anyways... Here's my asshole in my opinion, um, my perspective and sharing my lived experience. Biological men, cisgendered men, same thing. Statistically, when we look at the, the data and the statistics, you're more likely to be sexually assaulted and abused by a biological male, a cisgendered man, same thing. And when we think about cisgender women, biological women, same thing. They're more likely to be abused and assaulted by biological men, cisgendered men, same thing. But biological heterosexual men, cis heterosexual men, same thing. And, you know, what's all in common here is that they're the biological males. They're the, you know, they're the biological men, the biological males, the cisgendered male, the same thing. They're the ones that's typically, by any other demographic, looking at it from a statistical data-wise, they have the highest rates of committing sexual assault, sexual abuse, rape, molestation, murder, mass shootings, killing their uh, intimate partners, killing themselves, suicidal. It, I'm just being honest. And I can back my facts up. I don't have to sit up here and sugarcoat shit. I'm not here to sit up and make it seem like I'm just, this is just only my opinion. My opinion is actually backed by fucking facts. And I can back that shit up. Back, 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 back that booty up like it's a U-Haul truck. Back that booty up. Back, back, back that booty. I can back these facts up, baby. 
right? And I'm not here to say that you have to agree. You have to know. But if you hear, hear me out. If you hear, consider what I'm saying. Take what I'm saying into consideration, right? Or, 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 because everyone has choices. You can do whatever the you want to do, right? So, um, yeah. So, but that's just it. Transgender women are not, in my opinion, in my perspective, in my experience, they're not cisgendered males. They're not biological males. I don't look at them like that. Everybody can choose to look at how they want to look at people. I get it. But I personally do not look at that. I look at them as women and their adjective just happens to be trans. And your adjective just happens to be cisgendered. I mean, biological. Anyway, same thing. And But yet, I see you both as women. And I'm going to respect you both as women, right? If that's how you are identifying, that's what you are sh telling me. I'm going to respect you. You respect me, I respect you. I think it's common courtesy. That's just me, right? That's my opinion. That's my booty hole. And in my lived experience. And the alcohol part is biological males, cisgender men, same thing. They assault and abuse each other and themselves just as much as they assault and abuse every other demographic of people. And there needs to be something to talk about. But my thing is this, and this is going to shock a lot of you cis men, a lot of you biological men. It's not that I hate men. I remember I had somebody tell me, well, if you didn't like men, why did you become one? And that shit really hurt me. It hurt me because I'm like, nigga, I'm a man. I'm an intersex trans man. So it's not that I became one, right? It, I was who I was from day one. And I was never male or female, right? Theoretically, biologically, I had both. I literally had procedures as a fucking infant. Everybody wants to talk about, oh, we don't want to push this on the youth. But what do you think they do to intersex children? Intersex children, we come out the womb. And depending on what the medical establishment, the beliefs of the parents and the family and the medical establishment, you are going to have various gender affirming or gender non affirming forced procedures done upon you without your consent because you're a kid and they don't think you what you feel or want matters. They're going to make the decision based off of what your parents and family want. And my thing is this when you look at when you look at how they give circumcisions to what who are perceived to be biological males uh cis males biological males cisgendered males it's the same thing biological males same thing they give circumcisions is anybody asking the infant hey would you like me to chop a portion of your penis off no you're doing it though and that's a gender confirming or non-conforming depending on how that person views it like i said everybody has their own beliefs their own ideologies their own perspectives procedure is still a, a gender affirming or gender non-conforming procedure you're you're altering right right they put kids on puberty blockers and hormones early on intersex kids they want to force intersex kids to be cisgendered Why is it okay if they're cisgender, but they're not okay if they're, you know, intersex or they're gender fluid or they're non-binary or they're trans or they're trans feminine or they're bi-gender or they're agender or they're trans masculine? Why does it even matter? And then this is the other thing. If you don't want trans women in the bathroom with cis women or trans women with biological women or trans men with biological men... Cis men, cis women, biological women, biological men, same thing. Um, anyways, if you don't want us in the bathroom with you, you don't want intersex people in the bathroom with you, you know, I didn't ask to be intersex. God damn. But okay. Um, fuck me, right? Mm. Oh, sorry. This is not going to be. F me, right? Sorry. 
trigger warning. Anyways, so part two. If you don't want us in the bathroom, then make more gender fluid bathrooms where it doesn't even matter. You just gotta, you gotta go number one, you gotta go number two, you gotta go both. Do your thing. I don't care what you do in that bathroom, in that bathroom stall. And in fact, I think the cisgendered men, I mean the biological men would literally, same thing, would benefit from having more stalls. Because you think about it, who wants to just have their private parts whipped out right next to a mother effer and it's just like damn and considering how biological males cisgendered men statistically are more likely to be the ones abusing people I'm just being honest and abusing each other and abusing themselves it's probably not good to have them together in a bathroom with their private parts out going to the bathroom right by each other they probably should all have you know stalls in their own spaces i'm just being real here and also i want people to understand i don't necessarily think that biological men cis men same thing are inherently violent abusive negative i think i personally think my opinion my perspective and what I've seen in my life, my life lived experience. I think that it's how cisgendered men, I mean, biological men, same thing, are raised, are socialized. Toxic masculinity is destroying them and cis women and trans women and intersex people and, and trans men and, and other cis men and biological people. And it's destroying everyone. It's hurting everyone. Sexism is hurting everyone. Patriarchy is hurting everyone. White supremacy is hurting everyone. Racism is hurting everyone. Capitalism. All of these are my opinions and perspectives and like what I'm seeing in my lived experiences. But this is how I feel. This is my opinion. I think it's hurting all of us. And socialization. So I'll be doing more videos. But I just want you to consider, consider, I'm not saying you got to uh, believe me, but consider me, right? Consider me. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Don't tread on me. Okay, if you don't want me to tread on me, don't tread on me. Shit, I'm not treading on you being a biological, heterosexual, Jesus favorite. So don't tread on me for being an intersex, born intersex trans man who happens to be gay, queer, who happens to be black, who happens to be working class. I'm not treading on you, so don't tread on me. I just don't understand how people will say these things and make it seem like this is what they believe but in reality, they only believe it for themselves or for their own demographic or for their own group or for the people that are like them or for the people that they like. But then when it comes to everybody else, fuck you. You don't get to have that. But then you want to talk about it's equal. Ain't shit equal here. We see it every day. People should be able to go to the fucking bathroom. If you don't want us in the bathroom with you, then make more gender neutral bathrooms. But let's be honest here. All trans women aren't going to go to the to the woman's bathroom. Some of them are going to go to the gender, the non-gender bathroom, the, the gender fluid bathroom. But also all transgender people are not trans women. There are trans men. There are trans masculine. Transgender is an umbrella term. There's, there's bi-gender. There's agender. Um, there is non-binary, there is gender fluid. There are different ways of expressing your gender. There are intersex people. Intersexual. <laughs> intersex, baby. We're my intersex gang. But the point is, to make more gender fluid bathrooms where it doesn't matter how you identify you can just go number one number two and one two if you got to throw up whatever you're in the bathroom stall we don't care do you as long as you are not physically sexually abusing or harming other people
And again, do you trans men and intersex men, non-binary men, masculine people who are not biological males or not cisgendered males, same thing, exist? And I'm sure you don't want to see intersex men, intersex trans men like myself going into the woman's bathroom. And I recognize my privileges because I have a lot of privileges. I have a lot of advantages. I have a lot of easier ways of lives. It was easier for me to do things. I didn't have to go through as many struggles as some, but I have my own struggles. I've gone through struggles. I've gone through being, um, you know, disadvantaged, marginalized, but I also have privileges and I recognize that and I re I get that, Right. Number one, I was born in a middle class, upper middle class family. So there was a lot of things such as being able to, you know, have a housing that was stable, food, shelter, toys, go to school, go to college. That was because of my middle class, upper middle class upbringing by my grandparents, by my mom, by my family, by my community. And I'm, I was born intersex. So for me as a trans man being born intersex, it was, in my opinion, in my perspective, it was definitely, in my experience, it was definitely easier for me to transition because I was never male or female. I already had what is considered an abnormal amount of testosterone. And then two, I was literally born with physical abnormalities. And a lot of times, like I said, trigger warning, trigger warning, trigger, 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 trigger warning. A lot of times when you are an intersex kid or intersex person, when they see you and they see the abnormalities, whatever abnormality physically when it comes to the sexual organs is most disformed, that's the one that's going to be removed. That's the hormone that they want to decrease as much as possible in you. So, yeah. So it was easier for me. I mean, literally within a year of being on the right hormones. And mind you, I already had facial hair. Because I was intersex. <laughs> I used to shave my entire body because I was trying to fit in. Because I was told that I was a girl. And I was trying to fit in. I used to shave my whole body all the time. Because like everybody else, I was very hairy. Um, I had peach fuzz. Chin hairs. All kinds of things that was going on. I had to be on different hormones as a child puberty blockers as a child it's crazy how they talk about gender affirming care when it prefer when it pertains to trans kids even though trans kids cannot have procedures under the age of 18 and very very rare cases if they have a loving affirming family that respects and cares and loves them they can get assistance but even then you got to be of a certain age there's so much that has to go through that but when it comes to intersex kids, nobody's asking us about shit that's being forced upon us. Something to think about. Anyways, you ain't got to agree. You ain't got to like me. You ain't got to believe me. But hear me out. Since you're here anyways, hear me out. Consider what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm out. And uh, protect black and brown trans women. Trans women lives matter. Trans feminine people matter. Black and brown people of color. Trans people of color. Queer people of color. LGBTQIA plus in general matter. Our lives matter too. You know what I'm saying? We matter too. I'm out.